catalytic converters are found underneath your car, but that's not stopping thieves from stealing them and car experts say they are not cheap to replace. James City County Police say they've had six incidents so far this year, the most recent ones being on February 8th and 9th. It's alarming. Catalytic converters were taken out of parked cars where Berdasia lives in Long Hill Grove, but also other areas such as Regency at Long Hill, Steeplechase Apartments, and Carriage House Way. Now I gotta keep looking underneath my vehicle to see if they're gonna take my stuff or anything is cut. Although Berdasia was not a victim of the crime, he says this has led him to stay alert. Car experts tell us the converters have platinum based materials in it and thieves steal it for that and try to sell it to a junkyard or scrapyard for big bucks. Not only, uh, you know, do I have my vehicle, I have two other vehicles and, you know, if something happens, that's an expensive repair. Car experts say replacing them can cost car owners anywhere between $1,400 to $4,000, possibly more for a brand new set. A lot of people don't have that in their savings. The issue was happening across Hampton Roads. Beyond James City County, Suffolk has had 17 catalytic converter thefts. Chesapeake has seen 76 so far this year, and there's been 58 in Portsmouth. I'm losing sleep because if I hear any little thing outside, I'm wondering if, you know, one of our Cadillac converters are getting taken. Police say there are things you can do to cut the risk of falling victim. Park in well-lit areas, use an alarm or camera to catch thieves, install an anti-theft device, and report suspicious activity to police. Kelsey Jones, News 3. Catalytic converter thefts are something that we have covered for months here on News 3. So for other locations that have seen these thefts, plus what experts say you can do to protect yourself, visit WTKR.com.